All right. So today I'm going to be opening and showing you guys a new board game that I got through Kickstarter. It's called Here to Slay. I got the exclusive edition and it comes with two expansions. I also bought this little extra that they were selling. It is a little enamel pin uh, showing some cute little animals on it. And that was uh, for fundraising for the Australian uh, wildfires that were happening earlier this year. So 100% um, of the proceeds uh, were going to be going to the uh, NSW Wildlife Information Rescue and Education Service. So uh, I threw on an extra five bucks and got that as well. So, all right, um, I'm going to be opening the main box and the uh, other little packages that came along with it. So the expansions and um, some of the other little exclusive uh, cards that came with the package here. There are other versions of the game that were available on Kickstarter uh, for higher prices, obviously, um, and other add-ons such as play mats and, and other characters and, and whatnot, but um, I kept it simple and got uh, this, this version here. Um, still an exclusive edition, so I'm happy about that. And uh, I love the artwork. So um, I'll go ahead and open up the packages. I'll start off with the main box. Okay, so here's the box itself. Um, this version comes with a magnetic and uh, foil version of the box, which isn't going to be on the standard edition. I'll show you all the sides. It's a 2-6 to six player game, 30-60 to 60 minutes, ages 10 plus. Now I watched a couple videos online of some gameplay and it seems pretty fun. That was also a couple months ago, so I don't exactly remember right now how to play the game. But uh, I can't wait to get some people together to give it a try. One thing that I love about this game is the artwork. And uh, one thing that I had to do once I first learned about this game is I had to get another game by these guys, same company and same artist, uh, called Unstable Unicorns. And uh, I played this game a couple times. It's actually pretty fun. And I'll just show you some of the artwork for this uh, game as well. Very neat, very bright colors, very vibrant. And a little bit of humor in there too, which is nice. So I'm expecting the same from this game here. And let's go ahead and open it up. So we got instructions, what's in the box. So first thing is a uh, dice tower, which was, um, I think, uh, an item that, uh, it was a stretch goal in uh, Kickstarter. So they weren't going to include this unless a certain goal was reached. So it looks like it was reached just fine. And what you do is you assemble this and you roll your dice uh, through it. So... And we got some... Nice looking marbleized and shiny dice here. Sort of has a bluish tinge. Very nice. And then we got your cards. I'll have to open these up and show you guys the actual artwork. Very cool. So let me open these guys up here. Wonderful artwork. I love the, the colors and just the overall design of the characters is very nice. Open up another package here.
Oh, this one's nice. <laughs> yeah, very great designs on these cards. And I like that the cards are sort of oversized, too. So, you know, once everyone's playing on the table, all the uh, cards are laid out, you can really appreciate the artwork. And and really get to see all of the designs. So I won't go through the entire deck, this is a pretty big one, but we got some, looks like item cards, some modifier cards, challenges, and it looks like some, uh, what you do on your turn. So, I think it's a fairly simple game to learn, from what I recall seeing. This is the first time I've ever actually pledged anything on Kickstarter. I've sort of kicked it around before, looked at stuff, um, but I had to have this set. And uh, once again, I won't go through this entire deck because it's so so huge, but I'll give you a little little taste of some of the cards here. Yeah, very fun. All right, so though that was the 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 base set, um, I also did get uh, some of these expansions. Um, so there is two expansions uh, currently. And there's the Dragon Sorcerer expansion pack and the Monsters expansion pack. I think this is the monster one here. So obviously you can play the game without these, and then you can add these ones on for a little something extra, change up the gameplay a bit. Oh, I like this one. That's really cool. All right. Then we have the Dragon Sorcerer expansion pack here. Now this one comes with some larger cards and some regular sized cards here, so. These are really neat too. I like this one. Looks like some modifier cards and whatnot to add to your, your main deck. We got the hero cards. This one's awesome. Very fun. And then there was another add-on that I got, I think it was a couple bucks, was um, the Unstable Unicorn hero card, which isn't part of the main uh, deck. And I think might actually even be an, a, a Kickstarter exclusive as well. So I don't think that you can get this unless you're buying the Kickstarter edition. Um... Yeah, this is sort of their mascot uh, that I've seen uh, several times throughout the campaign. Um, he's considered the main hero, I guess, or one of the more popular ones. So, really cool. This is actually my favorite card from the set. I had to pay a couple extra bucks for this one, and it was worth it, I think. So, um, that's that. I might post a video at some point with some, uh, uh, maybe some gameplay footage or something. Once I actually learn the rules. But otherwise, I'm very excited. Very neat set. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to give it a play. Just wanted to show you guys the completed dice tower. It's 
It's pretty neat. They even put artwork on the inside. And I guess you just roll the dice, throw them there, and it sort of rolls the dice for you. So, pretty neat little add-on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cool. All right, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it below. Feel free to comment and subscribe to my channel.